Hitchcock, whenever whenever you see No, never mind. <laughs> Fail <laughs> Oh man, it's been a real long day. It's been a really long day. I, I was gonna uh, yeah. I was gonna start the episode with a baby driver joke about no. how whenever now whenever I hear the name baby, I think of baby driver. Uh or whenever I say so clever, man. Yeah, baby, wow. whatever. But now, uh, <laughs> then y- y- you said something, and I thought of another joke, and then I don't remember what the joke I thought of was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, life's just falling apart at the seams today. It really is, dude. I don't even... No. Uh, you're rolling, right? Yeah. I'm just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Yeah. Well, so, I, well, I guess I should chair. explain... Oh, great. bugging me. Brilliant. I is it the chair you always sit in? No, it's a new oh. one. Oh great. Da da da. You know, I guess I should explain to everyone what's going on in my what's in going on. Why I'm so life. exhausted. Oh. Dude. So, um last night so the past week or so I've been working on this Walter Mitty, Secret yes. Life of Walter Mitty video video. I'm revamping my film workshop web series. Um and I'm I'm doing like a new segment where I He's analyze it movies special. Special. And so I'm I was doing this big analysis of the Secret Life of Walter Mitty. That's one of my favorite movies. Um, and I've wrote, I wrote the script for the past week or so, and then I edited it for about three days or so, and then I finally finished it up at 4 a.m. last night and got it exporting, got it. exported it, and then I set it up, uploading to YouTube to be put up. Yeah. And I, clicked publish and i was like all right i'll go to bed and this will be uploaded when i wake up in the morning and i was like whoo can't wait for that <sighs> little did i know i woke up this morning and instead of having an uploaded video yeah got him i had an email from uh youtube telling me that fox had claimed the copyright in the in the <laughs> video and had blocked it worldwide and uh. dozens of tweets telling me uh, hey, I tried to click on your video and just letting you know in case no one else lets you know that that you uh you're, you're failing at this YouTube your life. Your video got claimed. Yeah. Just so stop on now, the one hand, it was uh, a pleasant surprise to know that so many people actually cared at all yeah. about my video coming out. <laughs> yeah. I didn't expect anyone to care, but uh, apparently they did, so that was good. But on oh, the other nice. hand, now I do not know what to do. I submitted a dispute. I mean, uh-huh. that is, I, I know what to do, and I submitted a dispute. <laughs> but it's um, it's it's now a thing where I don't have any control on how long it's going to take to, you know, um, to come back. Because I've had disputes that have come back to me in a matter of minutes or hours. Yeah. And they've been like, all right, you're right, it's fair use. And then ones that have come back in a matter of weeks, because they have a 30-day window to have to respond. Um, And then there's also no guarantee that they admit that it's fair use. I've had ones where I submit a dispute, wait 30 days, and then they go, that's not fair use. (laughs) We're still keeping your money. And I'm like, but it is. And then that's it. They continue Uh, blocking it. Because I have no power uh, in the situation. Um, Who does, though? So... Yeah, it's it's a little bit annoying, and this wouldn't be that big of a deal because I could just you know publish the video whenever it goes, whenever the dispute is lifted, or figure out a way to work around it. But yeah. I'm going on a trip for a week <laughs> yeah. tomorrow with no internet and no Wi-Fi because oh. it's camp, summer camp. We leave everything at home, so everything they leave their whole lives at home. Yeah, everything. Our parents, our our, our bodies. Dogs, it's, a, it's an astral you know. projection uh, camp. Yeah. We leave our bodies at home. But I, so I, um, I, there's, I have no power in this. And unless they, you know, do the dispute, give me back the video before tomorrow morning, the, it won't be out until I get back mm-hmm. next week. So great. Awesome. Wonderful guys. Right. <laughs> well done. Hype. Great, <sighs> great way to start out your week. I know, right? And, and I was like, I was so looking forward to getting it off my plate, right? I The reason I was working so hard on it, the reason that I worked until 4 a.m., because I, normally I just work on it today, but the reason that I worked on it until 4 a.m. last night was I was like, I'm going to get this off my plate, I'm going to finish it, and then I'm going to be done, and then I'll go to camp, 
and I'll have nothing on my plate and no things to worry about. Just as far saw as the angry comments calling you an idiot. Just those, the ones you on the Lego Batman Movie report, Sucks too. video. You know, mm -hmm. I still get comments on the Lego Batman ah, Movie Sucks video. Amazing. I get like three or four a day. Oh, People well, saying, wow. you're an idiot. You don't get kids' movies. <laughs> <sighs> and I, I've given up pasting the satire definition link to those yes. comments because there's too many of them at this point. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, so how's uh, your week been, Hitchcock? Jolly stuff, man. Oh, good. Working all day. Yeah? Oh, yeah. It's been it's been good. No, no copyrights for me. I, I've no. been steering clear of that. None. I think uh, uh, you had some drama in the week, right? You went to the dentist twice in a week. Yeah, that's just normal. That's just normal huh. life, So that's though. not drama. That's yeah, not I drama. Guess. That's, that's called having braces. <laughs> well, so. um, what else? I feel like that we we definitely haven't talked to him. We haven't hadn't done a thing in a while. Last Our last podcast that we did was with Jonathan from Obby Studios. Yeah. That was a, that just, was a jolly just, time, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, we just kind of went off the rails and did yeah. random stuff. It's quite fun. That was fun. Um. You know, I guess we should talk about this up front. For those who don't know, or for those who do know, oh. we uh, we have started using, uh, mainly me, but we've started using the app Anchor, which yeah. is this new podcasting yeah, app. And I'm rant about Anchor. Yeah, I'm going to rant buckle about your, this real quick. Buckle your just because, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, buckle them up, and I'll, I'll say my classic catchphrase, which is, the thing about blank is that. <laughs> the thing about it. <laughs> which marks the transition into the rant topic, uh, right? Oh, boy, oh, boy. So um, last yeah, week I discovered this new app. Now. Yeah, just go play it. <laughs> so last week I discovered this new app called Anchor, where yeah. um, essentially it makes podcasting easy. And I heard about it from a couple YouTubers on mm -hmm. YouTube, if you will. Oh, um, oh YouTubers yeah. on YouTube. Yeah, and as opposed to YouTubers on VidMe. Man, which you're is a really thing. tired. You're really <laughs> tired. In my uh, in my anchor recording I did 30 minutes ago, I said uh -huh. the secret life of Walter Mideo. Yeah, Mideo. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Um, but yeah, so I discovered this app called Anchor, which essentially mm -hmm. makes podcasting easy. You record. Audio that's, and that's what they want you to think. Yeah, <laughs> but you Podcasting record audio. Is never easy. You record audio of yourself, and you can go up to five minutes, and you can put background music behind it that makes it sound pretty professional. So basically, elevator music. Yeah. Yeah, basically ele elevator music. Um, you can put um transitions in between, like yeah. beeps and different jingles and whatever. You can put songs from Spotify and Apple Music in between any song of your choice. Um, mm -hmm. a little excerpt from that. And then the best part is that, so basically you set up your station, quote unquote, and you can do audio of your day or you can have a certain topic you're talking about, blah, blah, blah. But people can call into your show and uh, basically it's them recording a little thing of them talking and then you can publish that call in and respond to it. Um, yeah. And obviously that's not like a live conversation. You can also do an interview where you call someone on the phone and it records that conversation and mm. then posts it. But... um. Call-ins are really cool because essentially, you know, you can do a and a people ask you a question, then you answer, you can do, mm -hmm. hey, guys, give me your opinions on blank, and everybody calls in, and then you can publish all those call-ins, you know, one yeah. after the other. Um, but my favorite thing about it is that Anchor doesn't have a comment section, and yeah. so <laughs> the way to communicate is call-ins, right? So... The only like, way you can tell someone how stupid they are is call them in is and do it a right. voice. Which <laughs> means that... People are generally nicer on the app because yeah. they have to talk. They have to actually say the things out loud yeah, instead of typing them. So, like, you know, no one would actually say, F you, this video sucks, dude, misspelled dude. <laughs> but they could type uh, that, you know. So yeah. I think that the audio thing definitely makes it a lot more positive. Definitely. And also it's just a very positive site in general. Like, there's no likes or dislikes. Instead, it's applause. Yeah. Like, in the... Yeah. When you're hearing someone talk, you can click the applause button, and then you hear when other people are applauding as well. Dude, um, yeah, I, I opened up the app for the first time. I was listening to something, and all of a yeah. sudden I hear this random clapping. And yeah. It's over and over. I'm like, what in the world is this? <laughs> I immediately went to settings and turned it off. Like, no, I'm done. Oh, yeah. I like <laughs> it. It's fun. Away. It feels yeah, like well, feels like people are there with you, sort of. Yeah, it's, it's like of. it's little rain, you know? It yeah. down the emojis. Yeah. Oh, and see, that's – yeah, that's the other cool thing is that – when you're so it's it's kind of like a normal podcasting in terms of the interface like you click yeah. on a you click on a podcast or a person and then it 
takes you to their tracks and you can skip through to each track that they've posted or whatever. Um, yeah. But when you're listening to their voice, it's got some sort of vocal sensor or something, vocal recognition okay. thing, where emojis that have to do with what you're talking about appear on the screen. Yeah. They, like, yeah. fall they down fall the screen. Down. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, like, I say the word cool and the the cool emoji falls down. I've said yeah. the word movies several times uh, in the yeah. movies one. I, whenever so you say cool. anchor, the anchor emoji falls down. So it's just, <laughs> it's really cool. Um, yeah, that, it's such Some a really cool inventive concept. stuff. Yeah, yeah. and they their, their uh, team of support people have been nothing but supportive as support people should be um they yeah. featured me on the front page of their website yeah. today um i'm on the front page of the app as well with several other people under not the to YouTubers brag or anything on anchor section yeah i mean i'm i'm, cra- I'm thanking them for doing that <laughs> um and so it's not bragging if i'm thanking someone <laughs> i guess so um but and also they've there have been a few anchor uh people who i've seen who have done like let's talk about call in and with your thoughts of how to make anchor better. And the CEO has, has said that he's taken that stuff like very seriously. They're trying to update the app to make it as good as possible. Um, but so the best thing was that yesterday, yesterday I asked you, (laughs) Oh, got him. Got him. Um, (laughs) (laughs) but, um, so the best thing about the app is that, Yesterday uh, they up yesterday they updated it to make it pretty much revolutionary because <laughs> a world breaking up until yesterday they had made it where you record your tracks you post them and then they go away after 24 hours so it's kind of yeah. like Snapchat or Instagram stories oh I just that love that feature you know it makes everything so unrememberable you know yeah just dish it yeah. in the ditch. But so, yeah, the whole time I was like, I like this app a lot, but we're having some really valuable conversations and I'm hoping I want to save them, which you can't until then. So yesterday they introduced two things. One was you can now cluster your audio files, the ones of your choice, into episodes um, and post that episode as a permanent thing that people can go back and listen to that doesn't go away after 24 hours. Um, And then here's the revolutionary thing. Here's the amazing revolutionary thing. Here's the thing. So, you know, over the past two years, we have talked at length about how hard it is to get a podcast onto iTunes, right? Um, yeah. You know, you have to I mean, get... I, don't, I don't know. You do all that You wouldn't stuff, know, so but... I, <laughs> I just yeah. say, I just, I'm just here for the talking. You, you have to I'm get gone. an RSS feed. Um, you have to... So that means you, have to, you either have to make your own website and know how to code stuff, or you have yeah. to sign up with a provider that you pay for. Um, that gets the podcast onto iTunes. And there's all these details you have to do. Sometimes you have to, like, submit a form to iTunes to get it on Uh there. Blah, blah, blah. But yesterday, I asked you, they uh, released a new feature where you can automatically publish your episodes um, from Anchor. From the Anchor app, you can automatically publish your episodes Anchor episodes as podcasts on iTunes and Google yeah. Play. Boom. Got him. Like world Got breaking. Him for sure. And it's it's within like three taps. Like you literally choose the episode, you make a title for the episode, and then you choose an album cover or logo for nice. your podcast and it sends it to iTunes and within Dude, a day sick. you have an iTunes podcast. It's mind that's blowing. Sick. I'm that's like really no cool. way. And so it's like really cool because, you know, obviously all the tools are are easy to use you can do background music and transitions and call in so easily yeah but also like um it's just such a great way of anyone can make a podcast now and i hope that yeah. doesn't make the, the market oversaturated where like there's too many podcasts to get noticed <laughs> right everyone's doing them but um it's just it's but guys really just, guys just remember we were here first okay? we were here first we baby here blockheads first. podcast you listen up here we were here first <laughs> And not Get one of piece here. of fan art. <laughs> Except that one from Johnny Johnny, whatever. Yeah, the, yeah. So two <laughs> Jonathan features. Studios. Good yeah. Stuff. It's pretty good. <laughs> anyway, so that yeah, was it'd, it'd be cool. Like I wonder if there's some way we could do like a like a blockbuster like a whole thing. Show on that, me and you. Right. What? See that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I was like and that's the other thing I'm going, like, I'm wondering what this means for, I'm trying to decide what I want Blockbusted to be and what I want this Anchor yeah, thing to be yeah. and whether we should be on Anchor because you can't record Keyword, over... he's deciding, not me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm steering this ship, baby. <laughs> um, uh. But they, uh, you know, they um, have have made it where you can't 
record audio files over five minutes at the moment. Um, ah, okay. So you have to stop and then start again. Um, so that is the one downfall. Yeah. Although I understand it because it makes sense because it kind of keeps things brief and keeps things easy to listen to. Um, sure. But so, yeah, I, I still have some ideas. I'm going like maybe we could like do call-in stuff. Maybe me and you do Q&As through Blockbusted yeah, um, on there. Or maybe we just do what we're doing now, which is we have Blockbusted here, and then I do the HP1 mm -hmm. Film Workshop podcast on Anchor. Um, and then I just post some of my random music. And then you just post some random music. <laughs> and that's the fun thing is you can, on Anchor, you can take it to any extreme. Like, you can yeah. do what you're doing, which is just casually post music, right? Tuts. But also you could use the same app to do something very, very professional, you know? Yeah. Um, so cool. So cool. So yeah, it's it's really awesome. And I've it's got a, a podcast idea. on there right now that I've been doing for the past few days where every day I've been asking like a question like what does originality matter in movies or what yeah. makes a good movie or, you know, next week I'm going to ask like what movies should and shouldn't be rebooted, you know. Yes. Um, and so it offers the opportunity for people to call in and be like mm -hmm. and, and give their thoughts and then me to talk back to them so yeah it's it's really awesome it's really really Definitely. great and i recommend everybody get the app because i'm idea. on it you're on it and it's really yeah. fun so that's that right good stuff yeah all right hitchcock i think i think i think we can talk about the thing that the thing. we've been waiting to talk about the which big is thing what's the thing that we did this week the hitchcock thing. What's the thing that both of us saw we uh we uh what did, what did we see yeah i, I don't we saw, remember we saw the driver of baby the, the Driver ultimate, Baby. The the ultimate sequel to Boss Baby. Dude, I've met way too many people who legitimately think that it is a sequel to Boss Baby. And oh, that's, a, that's terrible. Like, the title is a good title, but it came uh -huh. at, a, at the wrong time. Oh, it did. And I'm it like, because I'm like, I've been telling my dad about Baby Driver for months now. And just now he went, wait, so it's live action? And I was like, <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Right? So, that's great. yeah. But, needless but yeah, we to both say, saw it. We, both of us saw Baby Driver, yeah. and I think both of us we loved both it, didn't we? Yes, definitely. Was, so, was what, what, was your, what was your general consensus? And I think we'll go no spoilers for the first few minutes, and then we'll go spoilers. Uh, okay. Just because we don't usually do that, do we? But I, I was no. just like, because I don't think too many people have seen it yet. Um, so, I, I think we'll spare them just in case we can recommend it to somebody who hasn't seen it and they'll see oh, it yeah. because of us, right? Yeah, totally. <laughs> so what did you think of Baby Driver? I, I walked out loving it. I had such a fun time. I know, right? Edgar Wright, his style of directing is just so perfect. You know, yeah. from the cinematography, the character writing, to all of it. The music and how he intertwined that. Yeah. Oh, I, I was just grinning. Like, I immediately walked out. I'm like, I want to go see that again. I know, right? Again. I want to see it five more times. You just felt like there was so much there. Like, yeah. You can just rewatch it. Yeah. Keep noticing stuff. Yeah. And so I loved it. I had, I hadn't seen a great movie. The only other great movie I seen was Scott Pilgrim. With Scott Pilgrim, Pilgrim. yeah. I've and seen so. Hot Fuzz and Scott Pilgrim. Um, yeah. And I just bought the other two movies that. Are, are his main mm -hmm. big ones, which are The World's End and Shaun of the Dead, which I'm planning yeah. on watching soon. Um, and I love Edgar Wright as a director in terms of that. What was that sound? I don't know. What was it? Oh, weird. I just what heard like a... Mind? I heard a weird sound where it was like some sort of fluctuating metal. It was like when you like hit a pan or something. Did you not hear that? What? No. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, the listeners, I'm sure, didn't hear it either. So That's like the... um. It's like when you're when you're in the bathroom or something, and then you hear, you're like taking a shower, and you hear a noise from outside, <laughs> and, you, and you wonder, did my family just all get murdered? <laughs> uh, that is not a thing that I think of very often. Okay, I did not know that that was your mind. All right. <laughs> oh, that's that's what happened. But so, so as I was saying before, you this weird wonder. noise you interrupted. Wonder. What I was saying was, I mean, I love Edgar Wright as a director, um, and I think that. While this, I don't think this is his best film. I think Scott Pilgrim How is better, and I think you. Hot Fellas is better. Um, just because they've got Pilgrim a little bit better? more. Yeah, I think, I think Scott there's more subtle Pilgrim? jokes in Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, like if you, it, the Pilgrim of Scott, the Pilgrim of Scott. If you rewatch Scott Pilgrim, there's like I notice something new every yeah. single time these subtle things. And Baby Driver has some of that, but I don't think it has nearly as much. Um, but that said. While I don't think Baby Driver is Edgar Wright's 
best movie, I think it's his most delightful movie, for sure. sure. I think it's the most fun I've ever had uh, yeah. at an Edgar Wright film, and probably my favorite of his, even if it's not the best. And I'm thinking about putting it on my top ten movies, just because yeah, I I've considered it pretty too. much adored it. Like, it was I'll, so I'm great. I'm going to rewatch right? it first, though. At least. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I enjoyed, like... I enjoyed the fact that it felt very John Hughes, like Ferris Bueller Breakfast Club ish a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. And in that sort of like teenager, like coming uh-huh. of age sort of vibe, um, rebellious thing. But also, I think it, and I think it's very like cliche in terms of the story beats, like you could predict sure. where it's going to go. But at the uh-huh. same time, I think it sort of embraces that and it yeah. aims to be very like old fashioned and it, it expands on that so much too yeah. you know it's yeah. not just cliche there's so many yeah. new ways of it does doing flip it. the genre a little bit it definitely makes it a whole it's lot a, it reminds me of, of la la land in some respects in oh, that it's wow. kind of aiming to be old fashioned and nostalgic in some ways sure, um but also sure. new in other ways um definitely with the old, and yeah. the old, old music throwback you know but yeah that stuff. And yeah, it definitely cool. embraces like that old movie vibe at the end where it's kind of like the yeah. <laughs> the hero gets his happy ending yeah. type thing, right? No spoilers. <laughs> There's a happy ending. Oh, um, man. Yeah, In I know, right? In this age? <laughs> yeah, because everything feels like it has to not have a happy ending, doesn't it? Hey, man, um, it's got to end in a big CGI battle. I mean, what can I say? <laughs> with a big monster with a mustache under a helmet, right? <laughs> and he had a mustache even in the Greek mythology times. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's getting mad at people and he's just smashing stuff yeah but so baby driver i think had had probably the best car chases i'd ever seen on dude screen. they were so good they so were exhilarating. so fun yeah so like it was like it wasn't your typical car chase either i mean it was yeah. doing stuff that was like whoa that's just so smart and clever well done shot mm-hmm. well yeah and oh i i saw i was watching <laughs> i've been like like trying so hard to find every little clip I can. No, I know, right? I've them. been rewatching the trailers over <laughs> yes, and over and over again. Right. <laughs> and so I, f- I found this one clip where they're talking about the dude that plays Baby, and he uh, he actually like took stunt driving classes to learn oh, how yeah. to drive, and like almost all of the driving you see in the movie is them actually driving. Yeah, like, and I really saw Edgar cool. Wright say that um, he interviewed lots of getaway drivers previous like ex-cons that, oh, that wow. talked about stuff and talked about how nice. they sometimes did have like a like a favorite jam song that Dude, they would that listen is so to cool. yeah That's so cool it's really good and, <laughs> and he also told the story of like one where some song came on the radio that all the all the crooks didn't like and they were like this is a bad sign let's not rob the bank today or something yeah. <laughs> it's bad luck oh so, wow yeah that was that was thrown into the movie wasn't it yeah yeah, yeah that's cool i um i really love everything about this movie in terms of like yeah. the vibe and the atmosphere and the the pacing and the sense of the mm-hmm. tone that it has um because it remain it's very fun but at the uh-huh. same time it's got like some dark stakes and it's it not afraid to be brutal <laughs> and you're I like mean, you it, know it people could die crim- criminal yeah 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 it's a crime fighting movie so or not i um crime, uh, not crime heist. fighting necessarily yeah. not crime um, fighting, more of heist kind of yeah yeah <laughs> i um the the best thing about the movie, which I hadn't talked about until now, for me, the thing that made it so just memorable and enjoyable to me and special was that it's set entirely in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> of course. Like, dude. Uh, of course. Movies are shot in Atlanta all the uh-huh. time. All the time. But the Atlanta is always sitting in, standing in for another city. It's always yeah. s- standing in for L.A. or standing in for Toronto or about standing Atlanta, in for New York, know? right? Like, it's standing in for New York right now for Avengers Infinity War, right? <laughs> yeah. stood, in, stood in for South Africa for Captain America's Civil War. Well, yep. I saw that shoot. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, this is the first movie I've seen in a long time that was legitimately set in Atlanta and was, like, totally a love letter to it. Like, nice. there's so many places I've been to and brands that they recognize. Like, he works for a pizza company at one point called Goodfellas yeah. Pizza, and I've been yeah. there. Nice. Um, he runs through Underground Atlanta, which is like a mall area that I've been to. He nice. runs across the Georgia Tech campus. He, um, there's, they, the car chases are all on 285, which is like, or I-85, which is like the main highway that we drive on here in Atlanta okay. that I've been on all kinds nice. of times. They mentioned that he's the spirit of 85 and he had a big chase on Spaghetti Junction, which is like the famous 
like traffic jam sort of uh, um, highway up here. And cool. yeah, it's it's totally, I knew every place and it was just nice. blowing my mind every time I saw no, Atlanta. Fun. Um, sure. So yeah, it was it was really fun in that sense. Um, but let's talk about the cast. What did you think of the yeah. cast? Yeah, they were all they were all great. Mm-hmm. So well casted, I thought. Loved all the characters. I thought Ansel Elgort, after seeing this, would have made a good Han Solo. You know? Yeah. Like I really, I really kind of yeah, wish they cast him. Yeah. yeah. Although I don't yeah, know if great. I don't know if he can do the snarkiness of Han Solo. Like in this, he's yeah. very like quiet and awkward and mellow. it fits him. Yeah. Very mellow. <laughs> I love the yeah. bit where he keeps putting on the new sunglasses, right? <laughs> when when yes. he <laughs> slaps them off, then he puts new ones on. It's I really good. It. I love it. So um, good. Who was your favorite of sort of like the supporting characters in terms of the sort of band of misfits, the mm. criminals? Huh. I don't know. Yeah. Bass was fun. I know, right? Like, That's who was I was so, gonna say. He was so evil. Jamie but he was Fox, just fun. Yeah, you know. So I, I really enjoyed him. Him and Buddy, they were great. I thought. Yeah, they were both really I thought that good. they both su- had a surprisingly good amount of depth. Um, oh yeah, for sure. And him, Bats especially, I thought it was really cool because um, he's he's a very sort of rocket raccoon almost yeah, character, where he's of. like sort of a an a hole, but he's uh-huh. just that's who he is, and he can't really help it, you know. Yeah. Um, and he's sometimes funny and sometimes like you hate him uh-huh. and you're like, whoa, this guy's quite a criminal. And I thought Jamie Foxx really, really pulled that off. Really oh, yeah. Well. oh yeah. And he's then, so, um, like, I was thinking after like Jamie Foxx, he did such a good job in this role. Yeah. yeah. And then you're like, uh, you know, I've seen clips of him. Is he in, uh, he's in the hateful eight, right? Or what um, am I thinking of? He's in, he's in some Western movie. Yeah. Jamie Foxx is where he plays this real. Is he in Django? I think he's in Django. Maybe something like that. But yeah. he's just this real tough, gritty dude. And then yeah. I was thinking, like, he's so good in this. And I was thinking, like, you know, he plays the dad in Annie or the mayor or whatever. Oh, right. I'm he like, plays oh, um, Mr. He's Warbucks. He's so much better in this when he's like this yeah. hardcore, gritty dude. You know? Yeah. He just, he really. He was also roll. Electro. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was. Remember that? There, wasn't remember, remember when Spider Man forgot his birthday and he got real mad? Oh, yeah. You, you forgot my birthday. Don't, don't forget people's birthdays, man. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> he, he tried to unplug the power to the whole city for no reason. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> Fun times. Yeah, I thought yeah, he was Jimmy great. Fox I also great. thought John Hamm's buddy character was great. I love that yeah. they all had nicknames. It was Buddy and Darling yes. and Bats and Doc, you know, and yes. Baby. Um, And, yeah, I really – I thought that, that was a fun sort of motif – of all of them mm-hmm. having nicknames and and then not necessarily being the, their true selves because yeah, of that. Yeah, knowing each other. Yeah, that's really cool. I really thought this movie was a movie about peer pressure, actually, because yeah? it like the whole. For me, the message was you got to like stand up for yourself. You know, like okay, cool. the first half of the movie, it's totally like baby getting bullied into submission, allowing himself to be pushed around, and like follow the crowd sure. of sure. of being part of this criminal thing even though people are telling him not to um and then finally he, t- he decides to make a stand for himself and get out yeah. of that life so i, I yeah. thought that was really compelling um well done and obviously the editing is amazing like the music yeah. is great <sighs> and the editing is great and yes. it just blew my mind like <laughs> there's several scenes, you know, where there the editing is where the there's like a long take, right? Uh-huh. And there's stuff happening to the beat of the music in the long take and you're going yes. they had to get that right and that right and that oh, right and that it. right it's and so that crazy. right all in this one mm. take and it's it's just phenomenal. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like when uh I guess we're not spoiling it, but I mean all the gunfights, right? Right. Everything when all the machine guns are loading beach, and yeah, yeah, yeah. So all good. it is just so nice. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love it. That's one of the things I love so much. Yeah. Soundtrack was great. Like when he put the car in gear, you know. Yeah. It's all going with the beat. It's so fun. I think this is really like this is the epitome of a good A plus summer, you know, popcorn movie. Like a fun yeah. action movie. Yeah. You know? It's because great. it's it's fun. It doesn't have a ton of depth, but it's no, got no, more no. than most. Um sure. it's got more than Avengers Age of Ultron. Blah. <laughs> um, and it's well shot. The action is really well done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's funny. It's memorable. It's a good time. And all of the technical stuff is so well done. The editing is amazing. The music's great. The acting is good. The cinematography's good. So, oh. 
Yeah, just really, really good stuff. So yeah, I guess we'll get into spoilers. Okay. Um, but for what? for those who haven't seen the movie yet, spoilers. Um, go out and Play see the, it because it's great. We need to support these. Spoilers. We need to support these little movies so that they oh, make yeah. more money. You know, oh, and you're yeah. right. He has a history of his movies flopping. Like yeah. Scott Pilgrim totally flopped when it was in yeah. theaters, and now it's a cult classic on DVD. But in theaters, it totally flopped. Um, uh-huh. So I'm hoping that this movie changes that. And we need more movies like this. You know, makes more movies. than your Transformers, right? Yes. <laughs> God. Oh, Can you boy. believe that? Can you yeah. believe Transformers came out and then this came out? Can you believe both those movies exist at the same time? Right? Yeah, like, it's, can it's you believe that there are executives out there who, in a world where Baby Driver exists, mm-hmm. thought it would be okay to make a movie as bad as Transformers 5? Go, go support this. Go, go please. Like, please. Watch this every day. And week. do not, don't you dare go and see Transformers and don't. not see this. So many don't. people went and saw Transformers last week, even ironically. I didn't want to go see it ironically. I was like, I don't care. Like, I want to see it later on DVD or whatever yeah. to make fun of how bad it's going to be, oh, right? Yeah. But I'm not giving my money to that movie. No. Not when no. it's in theaters. No way. So I'm no. like, if you gave money to Transformers, even ironically, you You're had a bad better person. go see Baby Driver <laughs> three times to make up for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. But, yeah, do support it. I mean, we need good movies like this, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm so tired definitely. of all the universe expanding mm-hmm. crap. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's so, that's another thing. I was watching this. I'm like, it is so nice to have this own original movie. Right. It's just on its own. There's no source know, material right? before it. It can just be what it wants to be. You well, know? and so many of my favorite so movies in the past satisfying. several months have been that, like Logan yeah. and yeah. Get Out and this and La La Land and Arrival. Mm-hmm. It's like, yes, Lord, yes. <laughs> Keep it coming. You know? Yeah. Uh-huh. All That's right, cool. so spoilers. Spoilers. We're getting into that. From Wah. this point onward, it will be spoilers. Aww. So yeah, this movie takes some surprisingly brutal turns, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, Dude, was, Jamie Foxx's was, death. Oh my that gosh. Great. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Baby gone I shouted out the now. Theater. Yeah. But I loved I loved about Jamie Foxx's death was that like when Buddy and Darling say that they're gonna kill him, you yeah. hate Jamie Foxx and he even just killed the gas station guy, right? Yeah. And you're like, Oh my gosh, what a jerk. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, but at the same time, you go, but it's not right for them to kill him either, you know? Yeah, um, definitely. And so you're, like, feeling baby's conscience in that moment. Yeah. And so then when he kills Bats himself, I did mm-hmm. feel like it was kind of like a melancholy, like, oh. What have I done? What have I done, right? Yeah, like, he definitely. just, he goes on impulse. He's like, all right, I'm done. But it was, you know, triggered by the fact that Jimmy Fox had just shot the cop, that was trying to yeah. stop them, right? Like yeah. in the chest and killed him. Yeah. And then also triggered by the fact that the lady was screaming and he had cared about her and connected uh-huh. with her earlier uh-huh. on in the in the the day before at the bank. Um, yeah, that was that was a great thing because like the this whole, the whole like the beginning of the film, you know, he's baby. Like, that first scene is him doing this, driving these the guys around to steal a bank or whatever. Right. And he's you know he's he's jamming in his car basically, having a good mm-hmm. time. But then right away you see him, you see him look in and you see whatever who uh, holding the gun up, right? Yeah. And that, then that, it feels like that's the moment like he starts to realize like, oh man, I don't want to be a part of this. You know, it's getting more and more violent. And that's, yeah. that's one thing. The movie gets more and more violent. The heist, you know, there's yeah. more gunfire and more, more bloodshed. That's true. It does and progress. So you, see, you really see him struggle with that and like want to get out yeah of it, he's he was a very you know? principled and good like i loved his conscience and you could yeah. feel his conscience like yeah. tingling in the movie you know yeah and like you you could tell he i mean he was in debt to the dude or whatever right right and so yeah. that's like he was he you was see doing the asian that. guy die he's yeah. in the back of the it's trunk like, oh, my. oh my god like that that scene where the car gets crumpled up with him in yeah. it brutal yeah. i was like, like oh my, oh my gosh. gosh yeah <laughs> and Crazy. you can see baby struggling with that too yeah it's definitely really good. that's that's really de- well done then yeah. On his character, which I loved. And, of course, he comes out of it in the end. So. Yeah. Which he did, like, at the end, he got really brutal. I'm like, is this a bit too quick? Like, he went from, like, not loving That's true. violence to yeah. all of a sudden wanting to shove this dude off a cliff, right? Although, at the same time, he tried to kill 
his his yeah, his, his good love, point. Good point. right? So yeah. I think that's yeah. I did. Um, I mean, is it is? I mean, he's still trying to kill dude, though. <laughs> yeah, I I thought the I thought the non action scenes that were more tense were really well executed too. Like the scene yeah. where they all go to the diner and. Mm-hmm. And he's like, stop off oh, yeah, here. That was good. That was really good. That was so tense. I was like, was oh my good. gosh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Um, and then the scene later where John Hamm is in the diner when he comes to get Deborah was really good yeah. as well. Yeah, I the one thing I didn't like about the movie was the romance, actually. I yeah. I liked Lily James, but I uh-huh. thought it was way underdeveloped. Rushed. Like and rushed. rushed. Yeah. Because like all, all of a sudden they meet, right? Right. And then all of a sudden, like, this quick turn, she's willing to follow him yeah. and watch him kill a dude. Like, right. Like, and on? I think they were going for a more, like, classic movie. Like, in classic movies, characters fall for each other like that, you yeah. know? Um, sure. But it just, it didn't quite work with the tone, I think. And she was very underdeveloped. Too. She was so underdeveloped. I can't tell you a single trait of hers other than no. that she likes music, I guess, yeah. you know? Um,. And she's willing to throw her entire life out the window to follow this dude who she just met a few months ago yeah. and risk her life and her criminal record and maybe go to jail yeah. Yeah. with him. And I'm like, girl, get out of there. Very quick. <laughs> like, man, dude. Yeah. I, so, I was, it kept expecting her to turn away, turn yeah. around and go back right. and say, no, like, I can't do this, right? Yeah. But, like, I, I mean, other than that, it was... I mean, all the other characters were perfectly fine. That's my one gripe I had with it. Was yeah, definitely. Was very undeveloped. And Lily James does a good job with her, and she's oh, yeah, pretty, she and she's did. cute, definitely. right? But yeah, she's just not quite. And I did think they had a lot of chemistry, but it's just uh-huh. the actual subtext of their relationship and why they like each other isn't really explained. They like well. music, okay? Chill they out. Like music, they like okay? music. Yeah. You know? yeah. So yeah, I I enjoyed we'll some of the, the stuff where he thinks where he thinks he's like home baby. free, right? Yeah, where yeah, like he thinks he's done, and then he starts being a pizza delivery guy and does yeah. it super fast. That was super fun. <laughs> That's cool. It's really good. Um, His also the scene. Was great. Oh yeah, he was, wasn't he? I was gonna bring that up. He was so Real good. Yeah. I love that. I loved I all the it. scenes in there. Yeah. They they had the scene where he's watching Monsters Inc. and then oh, he says, yeah. Yeah. "Stop feeding me lines from Monsters Inc. It pisses me off." <laughs> that, <laughs> that was really was good. good. I um. Pay off there. I also, I just thought his foster dad. It was a really interesting idea. You know, he's an mm-hmm. African American guy. He's deaf. Yeah. He's old. It's just something that's not. It's very unique. It's a very unique sort of story beat. Yeah. Um, and I enjoy the sign language stuff and the stuff of him making his little tracks at home. Yeah, uh, that was fun. Of the recorder, that was good. And, and then, and then, then them they... thinking that he was recording uh-huh. them, right? Uh-huh. That was really Shoving good. Shoving it in their face, like, I just make music, guys. Do you think it was supposed to be that he was trying to record them to frame them? Or do you think he was just no. doing it? Yeah? No, I think that was just his musical ear, you know? Yeah. Wanting to make, I mean, he had a ton of them. So, yeah. like, if he wanted to frame them, he would have done it, you know? Mm-hmm. Because you only need, like, one tape, so. But, yeah, right. that, I, I thought that was really cool of uh, development of his character, how he likes to make that music and stuff. Yeah. That's yeah. another thing. I loved all the musical aspect of this, you know? My family being a huge musical fan. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, it's just so nice. Well, and the songs definitely mm-hmm. have meaning in terms of the story and yeah. what they're saying and stuff. And, obviously, uh, even, like, especially in that first scene where he's going to get the coffee, um, and yeah. that's in downtown Atlanta. I've been there. Oh. Um, when he's going to get the coffee in that one take, like even the things that the characters are saying, their dialogue is to the beat of the music. Yeah. Like there's the so guy, good. there's the like street preacher with shouting stuff and his <laughs> shouting is to the music. And it's like, uh, yes, this is, this is glorious. Right. I love it. I love it so much. Yeah. I think that's so much fun. I really like the scene where he's running from the police just on foot. Yeah. That was really good. Yeah. That All that cool. like falling action or the last sort of act of the movie where they're just on the run. And yeah. then where Darlin, Darlin, Darling, Darling, Darling gets uh, gets murdered is just great. So oh. good. <laughs> and yeah, I, I I really, I don't have much else to say. I just really enjoyed no. the film. It was. Good. I got. I want to go rewatch it again. You know. I know, right? I yeah. Feel like oh, I want the Blu-ray. It's gonna look great. That Blu-ray, mm-hmm. that pink Blu-ray. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> I'll buy a steel book of that. That'd be a oh, good movie to get a steel book of. That would. Yeah. That would be. This movie For has sure. such good posters. Like. The art yeah. and everything oh, is just it gorgeous. Does. It's so it great. Does. But yeah. So, 
What do you rate Baby Driver out of our classic 22 mm. rating system? 22. Out of uh, 22. I think I'd give it a 20. Yeah, I think I would too. 20, yeah. I mean, it yeah, was really good. I almost good. said one 21. Of the best of the year. I was like, yeah, it's definitely. I've ranked it. Um, I ranked it number three of the year under Logan oh. and Get Out. So, okay. yeah, you need yeah, to see Get Out. It. It's quality. I it's do. quality stuff. I ranked it uh, uh, just below Logan, so it's number two, two of the yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. What's below that? T- uh, what is below that? That's that's the ultimate question. Um, <laughs> it's uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh yeah, yeah. Volume two. My top five of the year so far are, baby, are uh, Logan number one, Get Out number two, Baby Driver number three, John Wick two number four, Ugh. and then Guardians Volume two number yeah. five. So, yeah, I. Dude, that, I gotta see John Wick. Yeah, it's so good. Oh my gosh, the action's amazing. It's really good. Um, but I, this this year has been really it's stellar been so solid. far. And it's I can't wait. Really like I, I usually wait on the smaller movies until I hear about the Oscar nominations and until yeah. they're on DVD and stuff. So I'll be yeah. catching up on a lot of the other movies from the first half of this year towards the end of the year. Um, but just in terms of blockbusters, the ones that I have seen, so good so far. Yeah, it's been brilliant. And good. we have a great month ahead of us. Yeah. Like oh, Spider-Man: Homecoming has great stellar. reviews. Uh-huh. Worth Planet of the Apes has great reviews, and Dunkirk will be great. I mean, duh, right? <laughs> for Nolan. Yeah, man. So yeah, it is gonna be so good. I'm, I'm so, so hyped. hyped for this next month. You know, I I mentioned that uh, Dark Tower trailer to you, which I hadn't seen before yes. until I saw it in the Baby Driver yes. theater. I actually have the book right here. I need to start it. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna read it. It looks great. I think it looks like a really unique concept. Um, although the writer did Transformers Five and Insurgent, <laughs> so I don't know Got about him. that. But maybe things will work out and it'll be good. Who's to say? That Dark Tower yeah. movie looks pretty great. From the trailers, at least. So yeah. I'm just hoping it won't be one of those. It almost seems like one of those just book adaptions. That it'll, it'll right. be fine. It'll just, yeah. it'll just be there. You know? And it might get kind of swept under, under the rug. We got two Stephen King movies this year. Oh, so yeah. We got Dark Tower yeah. and It. Yeah. That's yeah. exciting. It's going to be good. So, yeah. Uh, I guess we didn't talk about some of the big news. Like, you know, the Han Solo directors left, which... <sighs> sucks you know uh, but it, that's been talked the heck out of already and we, yes. we don't really have anything new to say do we yeah. <laughs> that's that's the new catchphrase for the show we don't have anything new to say do we <laughs> oh that's not long enough <laughs> all right well do you have like a pick of the week or something pick of the week uh mine would probably I'm... be john wick too because that was quite good dude i want to see this so bad it's great oh. it's really good my friend came over and we were watching a bunch of clips from it. I'm like, oh, it just looks so fun. It's some of the best action. Like, Mad Max, I think, is the best action movie of the century. Um, oh, yeah? Like, I think I've decided that. It's a masterpiece in okay. terms of action. Um, and even narratively, people go, oh, it's got a dumb story, but the action's great. But even narratively, I don't think the story's that dumb either. It's got some good setups and payoffs nice. and some good sort of themes in it. Man, there's some loud thunder around my house. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. It's been raining so much here recently. Um, but so in terms of action, I think Mad Max is a masterpiece. Yeah. Um, and even narratively, it's, it's good, good too. Yeah. But John Wick comes pretty close to that in terms nice. of action also, because it nice. is phenomenal stunts and cinematography and set pieces and just choreography. It's yeah. really great. So, you know, there's actually videos of Keanu Reeves, the dude who plays John Wick, yeah. doing actual training with a real gun on yeah. a real course. Yeah. And it's like, He's he's like a low key assassin now. Like I know, in real right? Life. Yeah. Don't mess with that kid. <laughs> For sure. It's so good. Yeah. Is that well, it? Is that your pick of the I week? Watched... Is is the clips on YouTube of John Wick two? <laughs> sure. I I mean I didn't watch anything noteworthy. Yeah, I didn't a few either. Re, few rewatches. Arrival, I've been watching this. Uh, I've been watching this Walter Mitty. Or I've been writing this Walter Mitty video uh, for yeah. the past week or so, so I haven't really had a chance to watch anything. I'm, um, I'm still uh, hanging around with Lost. That's oh, cool. yeah. How's that coming? What season are you on? I'm on season five. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. My family, I finally got them it. into Parks and Rec, and they've been just binging for the past two months, and Have they're they? almost done with the whole show. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have they, I thought you had watched the whole thing with them before. No, I watched it alone before, and now oh, I'm wow. getting a chance to relive it all through the eyes nice. of a child of nice. the of the virgins to Parks and Rec. <laughs> I watched the first episode, didn't get into it. 
Yeah, for the first season itself isn't very good, but it gets nah. it gets quite quite a bit better. Um, I may, may, yeah. might give it a try. Just say. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, I'm going to camp this week. Um, yeah. I will have a couple. Anchor allows you to schedule little schedule oh, your man, audio files cool to thing. go up. Wow. Right. So I've scheduled two question and answer things um, to go up on two days during the week, even though I'm gone. So hopefully people will call in and give thoughts and I'll be able yeah. to publish those when I get back. So that's fun. Um, but when I get back, Spider-Man homecoming, baby. Yeah, man. Excited. It's yeah. It's going to be fun. Can't and wait. And then, uh, Warf the Planet of the Apes, the X War. next week. And then Dunkirk. Oh yeah, man. We're going to so have to do excited. an episode a week for the next three weeks. Yeah. So I guess we'll do one the Saturday that I get back after I see homecoming and you'll be Maybe. seeing it before me. That's exciting. Yes. Finally, uh, my time has come. I guess we'll do one the Saturday Wharf and Planet of the Apes, and then one for the Saturday for Dunkirk. I guess. Yeah. I guess that's it. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm well, hyped. I'm excited. It's gonna be great next month. Very excited. All right. Alrighty. Well, say your catchphrase, says Chuck. Uh, winging it, wing, wing it, wing it, winging it for days. <laughs> wing it. Hashtag Yesterday, wing it. I asked you. <laughs> that's that's your new catchphrase. Sure Yesterday, I asked you. <laughs> What even is this, guys? That's so applicable here. We'll oh, see you boy. in the next episode. <laughs> Later, my dudes. Bye. Don't stop your recording yet. Uh, okay. We didn't do the clappy thing. Uh, very true. We could sync it up at the end, couldn't we? All right. Yeah. <laughs> I will. I will put the put the thing on speaker, and we'll do the clap. All right, All right. ready? Yeah. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Boom, baby. Oh, baby. All right, All right good. good. <laughs> I almost, in the middle of the episode, I almost stopped you and you said, uh, we didn't do a clappy thing.